welcome back to my channel. We're here today to do a short review of Praise Song for the Widow by Paul Marshall. This was one of the selections for the Run Right Reads Book Club for September. If you're new to hearing about the Run Right Reads Book Club, that's the book club that I host. We read Caribbean books. So in September, we had two books. This is one of them, Praise Song for the Widow by Paul Marshall. Paul Marshall, a little background on the author. She is not Caribbean herself, but she's the daughter of a Caribbean immigrant. I think her father was from Barbados. And so Paul Marshall is poised to write this story about a woman who is African American who goes to the Caribbean and finds connection that she didn't know that she had in some way. So main character is Avi Johnson. She's recently widowed. She's in her 60s or thereabouts. And she's at this place in her life. She's in this phase where she is aching for connection. Her husband has died. She is separated from her children. And she talks a little bit about them in the, in the introduction of the book. But the book also happens in four parts. So in the first part of the book, we meet Abby Johnson. She's aboard this cruise ship with her friends. She has gone on this Caribbean cruise and she starts feeling uneasy. She's been having these dreams where she's having visions of her husband and her great aunt from her childhood. And the things that they're saying to her, she, she can't be around this, this space. So she, she abandons the cruise. She abandons the cruise ship. She gets off the cruise ship in the Caribbean. And the rest of the story happens from there. So I don't want to spoil too much of it for you. But the first part of the book, she's aboard the cruise ship. Second part of the book, we are revisiting Avi Johnson's younger years. So we see her as a young wife and mother. She has two daughters. She's pregnant again. She has new life within her. She's bursting with potential. But we also see something very significant happening between her and her husband. And it changes their relationship, but it also changes the man. So we see the transition of her husband from her lover to husband and provider and a serious man who is focused on leaving a legacy. But we also see in that section, but also in latter parts of the book, what a legacy offers and also what it can't. So we see Avi Johnson as a widowed, as a widowed woman, husband is now gone. And all she has left of him are the things that he left for her. But the thing that she's aching most, which I, I told us, which I said is connection. He's no longer there to provide that. So, you know, it's a little bit of a discussion about what we move in search of, but also about some of the reasons that we return to where we're from looking for connection that, that financial wealth and, um, that prosperity that we're looking for can't offer us. Avi Johnson herself, her name is, seems like it's an abbreviation, we're not sure, but her great aunt used to call her Avatara. And Avatar, you know, is from descent, origin, kind of the representation of who you are and a person who represents an idea or a concept. So Avi Johnson is definitely a representative of, of us, of who we are and what we can be, but also what we can't. So Avi Johnson and her husband are African Americans and we see them as different kinds of African Americans. Her husband is from the Gullah people in the South and Avi Johnson, a New York native, you know, born and bred native New Yorker and probably is satisfied that that is her origin story. But as we go further into this novel, we are called to think about the distinctions of people of African origins, the people who have come over to like the United States or to the, to this part of the world from Africa recently. And the people who are African Americans, the people who are Afro Caribbeans, who's descendants went from Africa to the Caribbean and now we see ourselves as Caribbean people like myself but you know it's a lot of mix-up right what they call in Jamaica is a lot of mix-up but it's also about us seeing that our story is not just where we personally came on this earth it's where our ancestors, where the spirits of our ancestors hail from and the stories that they have given us, the legacy that they've given us, which is, has nothing to do with financial prosperity, but is all about giving us a place to connect with other people who are like us. And tracing the story along with this main character gives us a bridge, gives us a bridge of understanding and experience for people who are Caribbean, but also people who don't necessarily have that connection, but are looking for a way to understand Caribbean experience, Caribbean literature, Caribbean culture. Um, something very significant happens to Abby Johnson in this book. When she disembarks the, sh the cruise ship, she's in Grenada and she's on the wharf witnessing these, these people who have come to Grenada from another small island and She's at this 
they're at this point in the year where there's a mass excursion. Um, a lot of the people from this island of Kariaku are returning home. So Avi Johnson stands on the wharf and she's watching these people. And there are other people who she has conversations with who are also a little bit bewildered about these people who once a year, every year, they're very almost religious about it. They return to their homeland and people can't understand why. Like, why would you go back to this place where opportunity was not enough to keep you there but no matter where you have gone no matter what you have accomplished every year you need to go back and it 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 calls to mind celebrations that bring immigrants back to their homeland kind of religiously too right in jamaica we have things like reggae sunsplash reggae sum fest carnival independence christmas whatever the celebration things that we want to go back home to be with our family, be with our community as we experience together. And people might, people might be wondering, like, why? Why do you keep going back to this place every year? You know, you could go on a vacation to anywhere in the world. Why do you keep, keep putting the coins together to go back to your home? Like, it doesn't make sense. It does. And Avi Johnson learns this. She learns the sense as she allows herself to be kind of swept up in this wave. And going back to a place where she's not really going back. She's going there to experience for the first time. But as she processes this transition, she realizes that this is not the first time. There are people there who she can connect with. There are people there who look like her, who are a lot like her in, in whatever way you're seeking connection, right? You can find it with other people because of the the place where we're all from. So there's a lot of spirituality in the latter part of this book, not the woo-woo kind of spirituality, but it does call to mind a little bit of the ancestral spirits, the, the, f the forces that created us and that helped us to become who we are, and an opportunity, of course, to pay homage to that history. Yeah, this book is a quiet and reflective study, but it's also very literary. The historical and cultural references that the author offers up are kind of a gateway to a discussion about the origins and the potential of Caribbean and, and, and African spirit and culture. But it is so much more about humanity and about human life and existence. And there are lots of themes in this book. I don't want to say too much more about the book, but definitely wanted to come on here and urge you to pick up Praise Song for the Widow by Paul Marshall. So if you've read it, let's chat in the comments down below. And if you haven't and you want to pick it up now because of something I said in this video, let's chat about that too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll be back soon with another video. We read another book in September, which I'll come back on here and make another video discussing that. And... In October, if you want to join the Run Right Reads Book Club, we're reading the Book of Night Women by Marlon James, so you can join that discussion as well. So yeah, let's chat in the comments, and until we come back for another, another video, happy reading. Bye!